What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. If you're new here, today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to mine Bitcoin on any computer. So naturally or normally, you're not able to mine Bitcoin on a, a computer normally because the algorithm has become too difficult or the, the difficulty is too high, but you can go and use services and mine other coins or algorithms and then it pays you out in Bitcoin or other coins. So uh, I'm gonna show you one of the easy ones. It's called Unminable and how to set it up and uh, you'll be up and mining and getting paid out in Bitcoin in no time. So let me flip this around. All right, guys, so we'll start from the beginning. So we're on unminable.com, and then you'll look at something that looks like this. Um, so you want to click on where it says start earning. You can click this and change this to any coin you want. We're going to be using Bitcoin right now for our example. And then all you need to do is click on uh, get started. So from that point, you'll download the unminer. Once we're done downloading that, up here in the top right corner, we're going to launch it. One download in progress. We're going to open that. Launch the, this is version 2.8.0. Install. And the computer I'm using in question right here is a good, you know, entry level computer now. It's got a Ryzen 7 5700G, which by today's standards is pretty old. Uh, and it's got an RTX 3060 12 gig, which also by today's standard standards is, is already multiple generations old. And they weren't exactly high end at the time either. So select a coin or token. We are going to select Bitcoin. There we go. And we will need my address. So let me pause this and grab my address real quick. All right. Once you put your Bitcoin address in, which it can be any wallet that has a normal standard Bitcoin address. Um, for this one right here, I'm using my one key wallet, but you could have it go to your Coinbase, your Binance, your you know crypto.com, or any other offline wallet or cold wallet as well. So just a Bitcoin address right there. Then hit start. From this point, we need to go to mining file or go to mining files. So we will need to go to the downloader and we're going to download them all. So we're just going to hit start on that and let it do its thing. So I'll be back once these are all done. All right. So it went ahead and downloaded all those miners so we can close that and we can close this. We can go back and then hit start again and it should automatically find it. It did. So you can click on this little paper right here, open the logs, and you can actually see the miner that, yep, it's doing stuff. Uh, it's building the page file right now, uh, which is good. That means it's working. And we have one accepted share. So we're gonna start getting a hash rate and it'll start climbing. But right now we're only mining on our CPU. So to mine on our GPU, we'd need to launch another instance of the unminer application. So unminer. We're gonna launch another one right here beside it or on top of it. Hopefully it doesn't freeze, there we go. So we have two of them side by side. Let me minimize this, minimize that. We're gonna go continue, Bitcoin, Bitcoin address, start, and then we will stop it as soon as we get, yeah, stop it at that screen. We're gonna to need to go to the settings and uh, mining, we'll ch change this one over to graphics card. Why will it not let me do that? Let's stop this one too. Huh. Oh, there it goes. Okay. That was weird. It was just having a hiccup. Um, so, yeah, this one is set up for CPU. This one's going to be set up for graphics card. Um, so to fix, to find the best uh, algorithm for your graphics card, you can go to a website called hashrate.no, and it will show whatever the most profitable coin is right now for your current GPU. Hit GPUs over in the top left. And then just search your GPU. So ours is a 3060. 
and right now a 3060 is making the most on Quai and Cubic. Now, hopefully those are over here. I'm not sure. We do not have any Cubic. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's click on a 3060. What else? Um, the next one down is, is, uh, Frog Pal Octopus. Octopus is probably on there. I think. We have Zell Hash, Zealous Hash. Oh, Octopus. There we go. So, Octopus, it's going to mine Octopus on our graphics card and we will get paid out in Bitcoin. And then on the CPU, it's going to mine Random X and we will get paid out in Bitcoin. So you can hit save, you can hit save, then you can hit start and start. And this one should now launch a different miner, which it did, and this one is launching a different miner. So I am recording this with a phone because if I screen record while I'm on this actual computer, um, it will not, it will actually choke out and um, will not let the screen recording software go through. So just know that if you're mining on your CPU and your GPU at the same time, uh, you're not gonna be able to use that computer. But you can get away with mining on, say your CPU and not your graphics card and still watch like some YouTube videos and stuff like that. It also depends on what kind of hardware. If you're on like a dual core or a quad core, it, you'll definitely have a harder time than, you know, say maybe an eight core or more CPU. Um, but yeah, we'll let this uh, spin up for a second and show you that we're getting some hash rate here. We're getting 30 mega hash over on Octopus and wait for our, a share to pop up on here on the CPU side. Now, one thing to note is the minimum payout for Bitcoin is high. So you can choose uh, other coins and look at the minimum payouts. I'll show you that here in a second. Um, because of the fees that are involved with Bitcoin, um, that's why they don't do small payouts because it would eat them alive in fees. All right, while that's doing that, we'll go over here and go to start earning Bitcoin and the yeah, free payouts from 0 0.00075, which right now is about 70 bucks. Now you can go over to something like, say, USDT, and minimum payout threshold is 1.5. So on the TRX network, 1.5 on BSC, and 28 on the ETH network. So obviously, TRX and BSC networks, less fees, so it's a lower payout threshold, and ETH is, is more fees, so you gotta mine up $28 worth. Um, what else is that? What's one that has a, a really low one? I think Bat Token, 70 Bat. No, that's like 30 bucks still. Um, I know, I know Bonk has a really low one. So 15,000 Bonk is not a lot. So Bonk to USD. So 15,000 Bonk is 29 cents. So if you're mining Bonk, you could get a payout every 29 cents, which is basically on almost any hardware uh, every single day. So you can take that with a grain of salt. If you just wanna mine and let it run for a longer period of time, you can do that as well. Um, it looks like my CPU miner, oh, it's starting. It's having a hard time. What is that about? Let me close this. And I'm going to relaunch them. Continue, continue. There, it's on the C, that's on the GPU. We'll open another one. Yeah, sometimes if you're having problems with them, you can just close them out and relaunch them. You won't have as many issues. CPU, save, start.
Ready threads. Okay. Now it looks like we're chugging along. So we're mining on the GPU right here and the CPU is about to pop up. It's actually, yeah, there we're actually getting some hash rate. So this system right here, not earning much money, but um, I'm going to let this one run as like a test, maybe for the next couple of days. And we'll chime back in and see how much we've earned in like the last 24 or 48 hours uh, and go from there. So thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there's no affiliate code. There's no referral link. Uh, if you have any questions, just drop it down below. Uh, my goal here and what I, I try to do is just to get people uh, involved and get people into crypto. So just you being here, I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, let me know if you're mining some Bitcoin or mining another coin. And we'll see you on the flip side. Later, guys.